Oh my god, you imbecile. What are you doing here? Hello once again to all my beloved fellow hardcore gamers. This is your good friend, the ultra-healthy video game nerd. And um, as you see in the title, today we've got an unboxing video coming up. And I know it's a little strange to be doing an unboxing video so early in my YouTube career, but we got a big one. Uh, just arrived and couldn't let this go. So, a mystery box. There's something beautiful in there. This is a biggie, trust me. Um, it is a Famicom game. Uh, it's a major one. It's something I've been hoping to get for a long time. And I uh, just arrived today. So, why don't we just stop yapping and get straight to it. Guess I better be careful, huh? <laughs> oh. oh yes. You guys are gonna love this. Not half as much as I'm going to love it because I'm gonna be the one who owns it, but uh, just seeing it seeing the reality that somebody actually got their hands on this rude boy. Should I be taking this up close? I guess so, I don't even know. Hey, okay, out comes this. Are you ready? Ta-da! A legitimate copy of Gimmick. That's right. Let's take it out of this bag, huh? Oh my lord. There it is. Complete. No sun fading. It's real, my friends. It exists. So, um, if you don't know about this game, uh, it's kind of one of the holy grails of the Famicom. It uh, is a platformer by Sunsoft, kind of one of their later releases, 92, so technically it's very late for a Nintendo game. Only released in Japan with a very limited release in Scandinavia, apparently. Uh, so let's take a look at the insides and see the quality. So, we should talk about this. Can you see the label? Uh, so I, I knew it was like this when I bought it. Um, there's some kind of peculiar discoloration that happens uh, with this and apparently I, I really don't know if it was because of the quality of the sticker or the glue, but this is almost unavoidable. Uh, almost every copy looks like this, or probably more than half of them. There are, I do see some out there that are like perfect. I don't know how they managed to do that. But what I'm kind of impressed about is it's not like coming off. I thought it might be like that that discoloration might almost kind of lead to some kind of peeling and it's not. It's, it's perfectly stuck on there. It's actually quite shiny. Um, and it does happen on the back a bit as well. This one's actually quite good. I don't know if you can see that particularly well. The colors do kind of uh, bleed and spread out a little bit from the purple text. Uh, this is really quite good though. You can't ask for much more. Uh, and the instructions if you want to see them are essentially perfect. Also does come with a unused registration card, no writing. Can't complain about that. So I would kind of like to also make this a kind of first impressions video as well. First of all, some of you may be wondering, did you just don't donate an organ in order to pay for that game? It's very expensive. Um, so I paid 50,000 yen. Uh, I usually convert, convert yen basically such that 100 yen is a dollar in my mind. That's not really true. The conversion rate right now, 50,000 yen would be about 460 or something like that. Um, so that's about as cheap as it gets really. Um, it's beautiful. I couldn't be happier. So anyways, why don't we stop the video for a minute and uh, I'm going to pop it in and we'll get back to you with some first impressions and see if it lives up to its name and price.
Okay, lovers, welcome back. Uh, I just came back from playing the first 20 minutes or so of the beautiful and legendary gimmick on Famicom. Uh, this is sweet. So, uh, what do I have to say about it? Well, uh, it's hard, as they say. I couldn't pass the first level without continuing once, so that says something. I got to the third world, so that's pretty cool. I got really hard from there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard like they say. There's a whole lot of slopes, and your character just kind of like slides like a madman. The momentum engine on this is wild. Uh, but that's cool, it's, it's part of the game. Uh, beautiful graphics. A lot of you may know if you're already watching this video and you know about Gimmick, uh, they put a special sound chip in it so it can do a couple more sound channels than most Famicom games can do. And the music is just, not only does it have you know, the, the technology like that, but the compositions are just beautiful. It's really great. I've had already bought the soundtrack a while ago, so I've got the CD, uh, but it's just amazing to hear it come out of a real Famicom. Uh, so that's great. I'm glad I got it. Is it worth $500 is what you're asking right now. Uh, of course it's worth $500. You know, it, it's worth what it's worth to us as the collectors and the players. Um, if you yourself are thinking about buying it, I'm sure that there are a lot of Nintendo games that are as good or, you know, maybe better depending on your style. Uh, so I would definitely say probably get those first before you're going to go for something, you know, this big. Uh, off the top of my head comes Vice Project Doom, uh, Shatterhand, stuff like that. Those are, you know, extraordinary games, and they're a little expensive also probably by some people's standards, but if you're in this industry, you know, you know, $100 is just, it's a mid-level game at this point in time. Um, so anyways, but yeah, I, I think that's about enough for now can't really explain the game mechanics a whole lot more than that. I just got it. But um, this is extraordinary. I mean, this is a beautiful moment in time. And I'm going to take good care of this rude boy. So I'm going to sign off to all my beautiful friends out there. Take it easy. Uh, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. If you like retro games, uh, you're a hardcore gamer, think about subscribing. Uh, I'm trying to do a lot of videos that really give people advice who are thinking about, you know, buying these really expensive games. Because uh, I've been through a lot of them. So, uh, you know, I can really tell you the pluses and minuses. I'm not out to make any money myself. So I, I can give you a, a pretty uh, level-headed analysis of some of these things. So if you're interested in that, if you're thinking about buying games, definitely uh, subscribe and I'd like to give you a lot more content. All right. Uh, that's going to be all. I'm taking care. As always, since I'm the ultra healthy video game nerd, I'm leaving you with these words. Just because you love video games doesn't mean you should neglect other parts of your life. Get a workout, make a good meal. Don't become that negative stereotype. You know what I'm talking about. That's all for me. Take care. Tail, get out of this video. <laughs> Look out. Move. Go somewhere. Alright, come here. You want to be in the video? All right, careful.